Today at Rogue Fab, we're talking to you about hole saws, mostly tooth cutting pitch. There's a lot of misinformation out there and a lot of conflicting information out there about what pitch you should be using to notch your tubing with and to cut metal with. Almost every hole saw out there you're used to seeing is a short one. These are inch and a half cutting depth. This one's a two inch diameter. And this is a four to six variable TPI, which means the tooth pitch, which is TPI, tooth per inch, varies between four at the coarsest, the biggest teeth, to six, the finest, which is the closest together teeth. So they don't vary a lot in size of the teeth, but four to six is coarse. That means that your material even if it is 120 wall, will still fit between the finest teeth there are. That is a little bit problematic because they will grab when you're cutting into the edge, which is what you're doing when you're notching. So we found a company called Deep Saws that is making finer tooth pitch hole saws. These are variable 8 to 12 TPI, so exactly double the pitch of the standard 4 to 6. You also notice this one is substantially larger. This is a 2 by 4 not like the wood, two by four, like two inch diameter, four inch depth. So this can easily get through, in this case, inch and three quarter material, and in other cases, two and a quarter inch material, or even larger, without ever having any piece you have to knock out with a grinder, which is nice. We've promoted that in other videos, but we're talking about pitch. Why would you want to cut with a fine pitch? It's for cutting thin tubing. What are the rules? When are you gonna get arrested for using the wrong one? Here's the secret, you never will. It's an opinion or a, uh, experience-based decision you'll have to make for yourself. My favorite thing to do is go ahead and order one of each, or three of each, or four of each. These are exactly the same hole saw. They're two by fours, four to six TPI, eight to 12 TPI. They're really similar in price. You can try them both out and see which one you like better. I generally say that as soon as your material can fit between and basically get stuck between the teeth on the hole saw, you should consider trying a finer tooth pitch. So. This is 16 gauge, so it's 060 thick, 063, 065, depends on your calipers and how cheap the company making it is, how far under spec they wanna go, or nominal they wanna go, but it'll always fit in between the teeth on a four to six TPI, every single time. 120 wall, borderline. I told you it will fit between, but as soon as you get a cut started, you're gonna be cutting with two teeth at once, and the cut's gonna go great, and it's gonna go faster with the four to six TPI. The teeth may be easier to rip off. The teeth are longer, because they're bigger, which makes them tougher to rip off, but they are deeper, which means they can pull more metal out at once, heavier chip load, easier to break off. So they're both more difficult and easier to break off, which is why it's an opinion or experience-based decision for every fabricator. There are some times when you just really should use a coarse pitch. This is 250 wall. This is, I think, two inch, 250 wall. And this is, uh, this is a chunk of 4130 normalized chromoly. Um, this would be a lot of fun to try and bend. Maybe we'll try that someday. But this thick stuff, just stick with the coarse, coarse pitch, the four to six TPI. Um, there's other times when you're definitely gonna wanna go with fine exhaust pipe. I would say there's no reason to try a coarse pitch on that. We now carry the big deep saws. So this is a three by four. So three inch diameter, four inch depth. And this would go great for doing X pipes or other things. There's a lot of ways to cut and notch exhaust pipe. Um, by the way, exhaust pipe does fit in the ultra notcher and so do really large hole saws. This is a telescoping frame. You can see separate videos on our ultra notcher. It's basically the big brother or big cousin to the verse notcher we've been selling for years. So hopefully this has helped you guys learn that there is no true rule and no one is gonna come find you and get you in trouble if you use the wrong ones, but you'll find that your own experience is gonna be the best decision-making tool you have to decide if you should get the coarse pitch or the fine pitch.